The dead short condition and amp flow result, and there was no way to restrict the amps because it was dead short. It was a dead short condition. So you see, when you look at modern day inventions, look and see the technology, how and why you can use that advancement of technology for the betterment of mankind. Go ahead. Now it became quite obvious that all I had to do is to restrict the amps and expose the water molecule to opposite voltage zone, would not the native charge oxygen and atom now be attracted to the positive voltage zone? Under law of physics, opposite charges will what? Attract, right? Would not the positive charge hydrogen and atom now be attracting to the negative voltage zone? And therefore you're overcoming the electrical attraction force of the water molecule. You're now causing the water molecule to expand. You're changing the time share rate of the electron and you're switching off the covalent bonding of the water molecule and now you're releasing the hydrogen and oxygen and adding for ordinary natural water without any processing or without adding any form of chemicals to it. It's a physical process. Why? Because do you consume a voltage field in an electronic circuit? No. Voltage performs a physical process of opposite electrical attraction. <coughs> 